Good evening and welcome to the Batscard Odson Stadium for the biggest day, well one of the biggest days in the rugby league calendar for High Fast Panthers fans, Derby Day away at the wonderful Odson Stadium with my tongue paste firmly in my cheek there. High Fast having a great chance to have a brilliant start to the championship season, winning over at Dewsbury bowing out the Challenge Cup after a tough game against Catalan but this is totally different as we renew rivals with the old enemy let's go through the teams first and foremost with the Panthers James Wilburnall lines up at one at full back and James Saltonstall where's five and Greg Eden where's five and Greg Eden where's two on the wings centres three Zap McComb and then two of the Leeds Jewel Reg in the side tonight 32 Jack Smith the 19 year old making his debut for Fax after being 18th man at Dewsbury. Halfbacks lose you for away sixth. And then number 23, Gareth Widdop, captain for the night, starts against his local rivals on the front row for Halifax. 32 on Kevin Leroy and 20 and 33, the other Leeds Joel Redger, Kieran Hudson, the 23 year old former Newcastle man. They're hooked by 20, Tom Inman, back row facts, 11, Ben Kavanagh, 12, Matty G, and 19, Connor Davies, locks up the scrum. And on the bench, four facts, number seven, club captain Joe Keyes against his former club. Eight, Adam Tangata, 15, Ryan Lannan, and 21, Ollie Davies, with 22, Ben Hurst, the 18th man for Liam Finn's men. As the atmosphere cranks up, and also, as we'll go through the Bradford team, 24, Aidan McGowan, 21, Jaden Myers, 3, ex faxman Joe Arundel, and number 4, danger man Kieran Gill, with 32, Connor Carr on the other wing. It's a makeshift half-back pairing for the Bulls. 14, John Davies, more accustomed to the back row. Having to fill in a standoff because of the injuries to the Eamon O'Carroll's men with number seven Jordan Lilly. Askamar. Big pack for Bradford. So with number 17, another ex Fax man, Ariba Doro. 18, Mitch Suter. And 15, Dan Smith. Zach Fulton makes his debut for the Bulls after coming over from Australia. Number 12, a familiar face in Chester Butler. And 19, Sam Hallis. That loose forward for the Bulls. They're on the bench. Number 16, Kevin Apo. 28, Harvey Wilson. 31, Tyron Ott. And 33, Max Wood. With 27, Lucas Green. On 18th man for the Bulls. Coached by Eamon O'Carroll. With Marcus Griffiths, the referee. For usually a high passioned, hot tempered affair between two local rivals with Halifax Panthers debuting their away strip of red and white against the white strips of Bradford Bulls and before I kick off we will reflect for a moment to remember those that we've lost as part of the Easter celebrations and for But this weekend is also about Easter Sunday, the day many Christians will celebrate the resurrection, the moment Jesus Christ rose from the tomb, bringing new hope and new life. <coughs> we all have good memories, joy-filled photographs of those we've lost. Somewhere in the midst of the grief is also joy and laughter, times of connection, conversation and celebration. We celebrate the world today, maybe good 
Friday, Easter Sunday is coming. So let's applause together until the ref blows the whistle as we celebrate the lives of those who have gone and the hope we have in the future this Easter. After the pre-match ritual, this game on, Good Friday, Derby Day. What we love to see. And LB Fax to kick off, playing from right to left. As the travelling support in that far corner raise their voice. They're trying to shout the boys home. The pitch. In surprisingly good conditions, despite the deluge of rain that's fallen in the last few days. This postage stamp pitch gets ready as Gareth Widdop gets us underway. Longed it towards the right hand side, collected. And a shot there from Kevin Leroy rushing in. Helped out there by the imposing figure of Kieran Hudson and Davies and already Bradford play slipping to the ground well dealt with there by Smith as Doro big shot there he'll have a target on his back will Uribe Doro was quick play the ball and the ball's up to target on the right hand side good running there from the second row of Fulton and the ball's on halfway Here's Smith, dealt with well, great tackle there by the Fax defence. Widdop and Smith working hard. Davis goes back to Lilly and Lilly puts the kick up high. All the Bradford chasers offside, sort of stall, collects with ease and takes it up and he'll start the set. 25 metres out from his own line. Drew Frey waits a dummy half. Goes right and it's Eden. Trying to buy yards towards that 40 metre line. Put down by Doro. Him and Wurst of Blindside will burn all to McComb. McComb does well. As Lifax near halfway. Inman finds it to Jufre. Brings on Connor Davies. Davies takes on the Bradford defence. Goes past halfway. Good yards there from Connor Davies. He's still going. Eventually put down five metres into the Bradford half. Slow play the ball though. Inman waits. Goes right to Jufre. Brings on G on the angle, great tackle down low there. By the Bradford man, Suter it was. Last tackle, Jufre on the blind side. Casey Deep collected just over the 10 by McGowan, but great chase by the Panthers defence. Led by Tom Inman. There's a wall of red and white waiting for the Bradford man there. Great defensive set. Need to keep clean though, Marcus Griffiths, no doubt. We'll be watching for these offsides. Looks to be a high tackle though, the first penalty goes away, the Bulls for the high shot. It did look high and it was. And that's a relieving penalty for the Bulls because they were struggling to get out of their own territory. It'll give John and Lily a chance to get Bradford deep into life. That's half, it's a great touch finder that. Even a short pitch like this is a great touch finder and Bradford will start 10 metres in inside the Halifax half and Joe Rundle wasting no time to make yards and already the Bulls are in the Halifax 20. Great positioning for Bradford to strike. Goes towards centre field. Options left and right for the Bulls. Here's Dan Smith. Short off to Doro but great shot there by Kavanagh. Had to be. On the next teammates goes a dummy half short ball from Fulton and Fulton is held up by the Halifax defence. Danger signs already there from Zach Fulton, who's carried well in his first couple of carries. Play the ball as the balls work at left. Smith finds Lily. Out of the back to McGowan. McGowan finds Gale, but Stolk comes off his wing. 
Great defence there from Saltestall. Reinforcements come to put him down. Five metres to the line. Last tackle here for Bradford. It goes back to Lily. And Lily dinks it towards a corner. Tip. Knocked down by Winner, but it goes to the Bradford man. And the Bradford Bulls are on the score sheet through Jane and Myers. And after the first five minutes, Bradford take the lead, four points to nil. John and Lilly kicks across field in between winger and halfback. Gareth Widdop tried to claim it but knocked it on and it bounced fortuitously into the hands of Jaden Myers who had the simple task of strolling over the try line for the first four pointer of the evening. And Ifax's penalty cost him dear. Only five minutes gone though, plenty of time left but In fact, will have to come from behind. Not for the first time on this ground. It'll be Jordan Lilly who so much of this attack will go through tonight. With his first conversion attempt of the evening. From 20 metres out, strikes it low, hits the post, but goes through. And there's the first for lucky bounce of the evening. The bounce of the ball goes one way or the other. Well, luckily for the Panthers, it goes through the post. And, and after six minutes, it's Bradford Bull six, Halifax Panthers nil. Widdop goes right for the kickoff once more. And it's a knock on there, forced by the defence. Kieran Hudson already, first five minutes, has put himself about and he's forced the mistake. And could this be the reaction that Halifax need? The scrum 15 metres out from the line. Great opportunity for Faxa strike. Jufre Inman finds Widdop. This slipping back play, which Woodburn all might take advantage of, but they recover well. And Fax has six tackles on this Bradford line. Six again given by the referee, but it matters not because it was a zero tackle. As the Royer plays the ball to Inman. Inman finds Widdop onto Jufre. Long ball out to Woodburn all. Thanks for calling. Great tackle there by Kieran Gill. But still tackles in the bag here for Fax. Here's Jufre being forced backward by the Bradford defence. Davies takes it in. We'll play the ball just outside of 10. Inman from dummy half. Short ball to Hudson. Hudson attracts four Bradford defenders who struggle to put him down. Still tackles here for Fax. Inman waits at dummy half. Late break left from Widdop, steps out the tackle. Good, desperate defence there by John Davies, last tackle here for Fax. Inman finds it's Jufre, and Jufre kicks across field, looking for Saltonstall. But well taken there by Kieran Gill. But Halifax will try and force a mistake from deep once more. As Hudson again looking for the big hit, but Leroyer and Davies. Put the Bradford man down. Here's Myers. Footwork of the line and does well. Makes some good yards after contact. Despite the attentions of Hudson and Kavanagh. Sue to use the blind side. Tries to go through the gap. Desperate defence here for Halifax. He's still going his suitor. Quick play of the ball. Davies feeds Smith and Smith sits towards halfway. Good tackle there from Leroyer. Held out by Davies. Last tackle here for Bradford. Lily again puts boot to ball, it's a shallow kick, plenty of height on Woodburn Hall, takes it well, but it's a great chase by McGowan, who puts him down where he stands. Here's Saltonstall, finds Eden, trying to look for a gap in the defence, but 
Fulton Davis. John Davis of Radford, that is. Close the door. Here's Saltonstall. Tries to bump off the Bradford defender, but held out there by Smith. Referee Rowan has played the ball too quickly. Here's McComb. Jumps to the line, but it's, again, this Bradford defence doing well so far. In my way, it's a dummy half. Finds Widdop, runs across the line. Brings on Hudson on the angle. He's put down on the IFAX 40. Great defensive set, this from Bradford. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman fires it to Jufre, and Jufre tries to get length, but it goes straight down the throat of the Bradford winger, Connor Carr, who finds the 30 for Bradford. Davis at dummy half, finds McGowan. McGowan sets up his ride, but well tackled there by Leroy and Kavanagh. Five metres shy of halfway, slow play the ball, Suter. Fires it to Gill, Gill. On there, calls the high tackle, not heeded by the referee. Quick play of the ball though, and Bradford use the blind side. And steal a quick, easy 10 metres there. Two from dummy half, finds Lily. Lily runs at the line, trying to find a gap. But well put down there by the Fax defence. Last tackle here for Bradford. Davies digs the ball towards the corner. Eden takes it with no pressure on him at all. Tries to get the gap. Poke his nose through, but he's put down. By Arundel. Here's Jack Smith, first touch of the ball for Lee's Joel Reg. Man, but he's put down by three Bradford defenders just outside his own 20. Inman finds Eden. And it's a forced mistake, and Bradford are going to score here. It's a forward pass. Oh, as referee ruled, it's, it's offside. I don't know what the referee's ruled here. He's ruled a Bradford knock on. Well, I, I, I couldn't see where the Bradford knock on it, it was there, but we'll take it. Warning signs here for Halifax defence. This Bradford, uh, Halifax attack even, this Bradford defence shooting up in numbers. But Halifax survived that. I'll get a scrum on their own 20. Which you fail free feed him in. Hands on to the Halifax man, not too sure who that is. Was that McComb? I think it was. As Leroy takes facts to the 40, Inman shakes right and goes left. Jufre goes to the line, throws a dummy, but good defence there from Davies. And Fulton, Fax five metres into the Bradford half. Inman finds it to Leroy, a direct running. Big contact there, but he rides it well, does Leroy. He's still going after contact. Slow play of the ball, Inman. Here's Conor Davies, steps off his right. Good shot there by Smith. Managed to get the ball out here, Halifax. With it, kick towards the corner. He's taken out after the ball went. And the referee, I think, seen it, he has. And Fax get the first penalty of the evening. Their first penalty of the evening. The clearest penalty you'll ever see. With it taken late. And I fast all this tap and go here, Jufre. Hands on to Davis, hands it on. To the massive figure of Hudson. Who's had a great first and he's still going, Hudson, going towards that line. He's wriggling over, has he got over? He's just short. Slow play of the ball. Inman waits. Fires it to Davies. On to G. G. Runs inside. Inman. Short to Leroy, Leroy, can he get the offload there? And he's done me half of the go by himself. No, Jufre spills the ball, but it goes backwards. But Bradford dive on it. It's play on. Everyone just seemed to stop there. Why didn't Alain Fast play just dive on the ball? It went backwards. A slow play of the ball, the natives are getting restless. <laughs> Meanwhile, strong defence there by Davies. Here's Doro. Big collision there. 
but rides it well Uribe Doro and I think Hudson's come off second best there Hudson going in for the big hit but Uribe Doro won that battle there the doctor straight onto the field and maybe he could be going off for an HIA there And he will. Hudson, after a great first stint, has been forced off the field for a head injury assessment after going for a huge hit on Ariba Doro. Anam Tangata comes onto the field to replace him. Play goes on, Davies finds Lily. Short ball to Butler and Butler. Well put down there by Jufre. Lily finds Sue to suit those a dummy. Good tackling there by the Royer. Ball comes out there, he goes backwards, it's a knock on. Referee ruling it a knock on. And I that survived that set. And this derby is definitely not disappointing for the bruising nature. The hits are flying in. Bifax will get the scrum. 25 metres from their own line. They were at the blind side. Here's Eden. Runs wide. Looking for a gap in the Bradford defence. But they put him down just over the 40. Slow play of the ball. With it. Feeds Smith, Smith runs towards centre field. Steps out the challenges of Dan Smith, his namesake, but Suter and Fulton put him down. Inman, long ball to Davies, short ball to Leroy, Leroy goes past halfway, but again, this Bradford defence stands firm. Inman waits a dummy halfway, it's a blind side. Here's G and G. Makes his way towards a 30. Here's Jufre, runs cross field, throws a dummy, finds Widdop, onto Kavanagh, Kavanagh, great tackle down low by the Bradford man, slow play the ball and it is a six again. It had to be a six again despite the Bradford fans complaining. And I have six more tackles, deep in Bradford territory. Inman finds Tangata, who loves a dab in a try put down by Doro and Suter Hindman finds Widdop short ball to Davies Davies tries to wriggle out the tackle less than five out the Panthers Hindman where's dummy half short ball to Tangata Tangata spins round has got over the line he has but he's held up by the Bradford defence as Halifax threatening this try line but for the moment the Bulls defence holding firm Still tackles here for Fax. Here's Inman. Finds Jufre onto Laroya. Takes on Doro, but Doro does well down low. Inman. Finds Widdop. Alifax second left. He goes to Kevin and there's gaps here. Can Kevin and Rich Trist over the line? But great, desperate last ditch defence from the Bradford Bulls. Stop the Alifax attack. But there's signs there that Alifax could push through. Just got to be patient with it. Still 23 minutes left of this first half. So only Bradford 6, Halifax 0. Great defence there from the Halifax men. Widdop and Smith doing well on Fulton. Here's Myers, don't think he wanted that ball. And again, this Halifax defence, tenacious. Learning a few lessons from Catalan last week, maybe. As Myers goes from dummy half. Tangata does well and Bradford are struggling to break out their own ten here. Here's Dan Smith. Takes on Leroy. An offload, panic offload and knock on. And look what it means to those fax men. Brilliant defensive pressure from the Panthers. And maybe they're sensing a chance to get themselves back in this game. As the errors are unsurprisingly mounting up. 
in these tricky conditions as Halifax decides to take the scrum as close to that far right touchline as they can with every single man in red and white to the left of the scrum Inman finds it to Widdop Widdop finds Saltonstall Saltonstall takes it in Jack Smith made a great run but Saltonstall took it himself great opportunity here for Fax to strike here's Inman brings on Davies good shot there by Suter finished off up top by Smith loads tackles in the bag here for Fax Inman takes from dummy half onto Tangata Tangata tries to go between Doro and there Here's Inman, goes for dummy half, Tom Inman, can he get over for a trademark try? No, he's pushed back. Still tackles here for Fax, Dufresne fills in that dummy half. Fires it to Leroyer, Leroyer onto Widdop, sets out a tackle of Davies, well that's great defence there by John Davies. Fantastic defence that. Inman finds Dufresne back on the inside to Burn all, covers it through. Nice little eventy play from Halifax as McGowan dives back into the field of play and Bradford survive but this high fast defence shooting up they've got to stay on side but that's brilliant defence there really making this Bradford attack work hard to get out of territory another good shot there again from Inman long ball out to Gill one of Bradford's strike men, but even he's struggling to find yardage out, and Bradford is still only 15 metres out from the lower line after tackle number three. As a referee, has to, telling the Bradford player to get up in the kick early, the tackle count, Lily, using this wind to great effect, and the ball just bobbles on. Eden comes back to collect. Looking to counter-attack Greg Eden, brushes off one. And Ifax will start to set on the 40, but for the way Bradford was struggling to get out of territory, they'll take that. Here's Will Burnall, footwork at the line. Lovely little half break, but great tackle down low. Looking for a quick play of the ball, Will Burnall, and gets it. Widdop finds Salt and Stall. Salt and Stall goes through. And Halifax get a penalty for offside for the Bulls. All coming from that great run from Will Burnall. As referee Marcus Griffiths having a talking to the Bradford man, I think it's Dan Smith. As the penalties are mounting up in this game. <laughs> Drew Frail kicked a touch this time. Goes out on the 20 metres. Jack Smith taps, runs towards centre field. Stops in his tracks and just takes a tackle. 11 metres out from this Bradford line. Inman. Here's Leroya. Big contact there from the Bradford defence. Slow play the ball, Inman finds Connor Davies. Now they're back to win it, brings on Kavanagh on the angle, runs across the line. Onto the Halifax man there. Put down just short. I think it would burn all. Inman finds Dufresne, the Bradford defence shooting out. And here's My G and My G! Brilliant line from My G! And Halifax do strike back. What a move! And it's My G who goes over for his fifth try of the season just after the 20 minute mark brilliant response from the Panthers they've put the pressure on this Bradford line and eventually the dam burst and Drew Frey with a brilliant ball despite the Bradford pressure and Matty G does what Matty G does find a great line and he goes over underneath the posts to hopefully tie this game up for the Panthers and it sends those Halifax fans on that far corner into great voice <laughs> you just felt the last 5 or 10 minutes Halifax just build into this game I mentioned patience a few minutes ago and they've shown it and a brilliant ball from Dufresne who will hopefully turn this ball into 6 Turn this four into six, which he does. Two three, one from one. And this game is all tied up. Derby Daily 
living up to its past. Great response there from the Panthers. Maybe Lily to kick off, and there's a massive gap in this Halifax line up here, right in the centre of the field, which Lily might utilise. No, it goes left. Well taken on the fly. But I think it was a try scorer, G. Jufre waits at dummy half. Here's Saltonstall. Stopped in his tracks by the Bradford defence, pushing back slightly. Davies waits at dummy half. Anton to McComb. McComb. Met by three Bradford defenders who put him down 25 from his own line. Here's Leroya. He's run well so far. Leroya runs a bit wide this time. Inman finds Connor Davies and Davies gets the offload away. He's with Bernal trying to take advantage. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman buys it to Wid 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 loses his footing but still regains. Spiraling bump towards his corner. It's moving all over the place. It's dropped by Myers. He's going to go forward. Oh, and the ball goes out. And Myers is not happy with himself. Now, will the referee rule it's come out off the Bradford man? It has. The natives don't like it, but it's the right decision. And Ifax have a great chance here to take the lead here. Scrum down, 10 metres out from the post, centre field. Lost a chat in this Ifax attack. Having said that, they made a little bit rubbish. They're moving it towards. Oh no, they're not. The referee, Marcus Griffiths, had a quick word with Reeby Doro and Kevin Laroya. Ex teammates, of course. And eventually, this scrum will be formed 10 metres out. Centre field. Well, there's a bit more handbags going on in there. Is it Louis Vuitton, is it Burberry? We're not quite sure, but plenty of handbags going on in that front row. Laroya likes his Louis Vuitton, the Frenchman. And now the referees decide to move the scrum now. Well, never has a rugby league scrum been so complicated as this. Eventually, we might actually get a game of rugby league going on here. Widdop feeds, Inman goes right, Eden throws a dummy, he's still not held. These Bradford fans are out and they clearly don't know the rules, he weren't held. Here's Davies, oh gee, sorry, my mistake. Put down by Doro and Smith. Still tackles here for Ifax, slow play the ball. Here's Tangata, Tangata. Well got to grips with by two Bradford Bulls defenders, boy wins a ruck there. Inman goes from dummy half, throws a dummy. Tom Inman, how we'd love a derby day try, Tom Inman. But the Bulls defence stop him just short. We're up at dummy half, finds Jufre. Jufre out the back to Woodburn Hall, Woodburn Hall throws dummy in, Woodburn Hall's over! And cheers, Woodburn Hall! How he loves scoring a try against Bradford. What a try! James Woodburn all scoring his fourth try of the season to take the lead for the Panthers after 25 minutes. Two tries in quick succession for the Panthers. And they definitely deserve it after the run of play for the last 15 or so minutes. Lovely play out the back and Woodburn all through the dummy and dived over. And from the celebration you can see how much it means to him. On the Remember Your Why documentary, 
He says he loves beating Bradford. And you can see what he meant there. As Jufre lines up this touchline conversion. Going through his usual preparation. Jufre, he's pulled it to left of the post, unfortunately, but it's still a Panthers lead, 10 points to six, with 12 minutes left to go in this first half. And Liam Finn will no doubt be will no doubt be really, really impressed with the way that his troops have reacted to that early Bradford try. We've built our way into this game brilliantly, shown patience and executed two well-worked tries. As Lily gets us back underway, Jufre collects and on to Tangata and Tangata races into that Bradford defence who put him down 15 metres out from his own line. Here's Conor Davies, he takes it up. Gets the offload out, but it bounces off. And that is just panic. That's just really poor play from Connor Davies there. Having just scored to take the lead, there was no need to throw that ball. And rather than getting a solid set and pushing Bradford back towards their own line, it's given the Bulls a great chance to strike back here. Meanwhile, Ryan Lannan's come onto the field to replace Alan Tangata, uh, to replace Kevin Laroya. Here's a scrum, Bradford quick break quick and left. The Fax defence get to grips with Gill, had to. Jufre and G doing the job well. Here's Lily, finds this bull sub, Kevin Apoward does well. Great shot there by Tangata and Lannan. As the Bulls go blind, here's Davies, throws a dummy. Good tackle down low by Inman, finished off by Lannan. Suter goes from dummy half, short ball. As Ali fast defence, do well, but they concede the penalty. Missing round on the, on the play of the ball, giving Bradford six more tackles on this fax line. We should take quickly, here's Apple once more. Good tackle down low by Inman, who's had a great first stint, Tom Inman. Long ball out, Lily throws a dummy, steps back on the inside, but great tackle there by Lannan, but he gets the ball away. Here's Davies, David Suit is over. And Bradford do strike back. And that, and that was a bad mistake from Conor Davis, and it's been punished upon by the Bradford Bulls and Mitch Suter, I think it was. That's a try for the Bradford Bulls, sponsored by Alex Bonoshi, who is a game from the 15, Mitch Suter. Yeah, Mitch Suter it was. And we're just coming up to the last 10 minutes of this first half. Bradford do strike back and with the way John and Lilly kick in. They'll regain the lead with the Bradford Bulls. And like I said, rather than completing a set and pushing the Bulls back towards their own line, that offload from Connor Davies Poor Fax under all sorts of pressure and the Bradford Bulls didn't need a second invitation. And you would think from this conversion from Jordan Lilly, they'll regain the lead. Which it does. The flags are up, Lilly's two from two. And the Bulls regain the lead, 12 points to 10 in this back and forth Derby Day game. 
on this wet and windy Good Friday Oddsall Stadium. Widdop drifts the kick off, holds in the wind. And the quid, was that done we play the ball? The referee rules not. The player carries on. Lionel and Tangata working on defence once more. Good shot once more by Inman. Held out by Kavanagh. A scare goes through and here's Suter jumping out on behalf again. He looks a dangerous player to this Suter. Making yards of fun from dummy half. Here's Smith, runs across field. Short ball to Alice, Alice gets put down. Last tackle here for the Bradford Bulls. They were at the blind side. Lily takes to the line, finds Gill. But Gill well wrapped up there by the Halifax defence. They do really well to stop his threat. But Bradford won't mind turning over possession deep in Halifax territory. Here's Salt and Stahl, takes it up. It hard by bad for defence, fights for a quick play of the ball. Jufre on to Ollie Davies, he's come onto the field. If Connor Davies has stout Liam Finn's hook after, after that mistake, and Ollie Davies has come onto the field to replace him. Salt and Stahl held up where he stands, they're trying to eke out extra seconds of his play of the ball. Here's Lannan, good yards from Ryan Lannan, still tackles here for Fax. The goal left, Widdop, pulls it high, hangs in this wind, but taken easily enough by McGowan. And Bradford will start the set on their own 40. Good chase up by Kavanagh and Inman. Davis from dummy half. The clock stopped. I'm not too sure why the clock stopped, but Something going in the back play with the Bradford Bulls. But the Bulls will play the ball on halfway eventually. Suter, long ball out to Apo. Tries to bounce off the Halifax defenders, but they do well. McCormick was who put him down just shy of halfway. The Bulls were the blind side. Here's Gill. Gill trying to break through the Halifax defenders. But again, on that side, Jufre and G do well. Still tackles here for Bradford. Here's Lilly, runs across field. Finds out to Davies. Davies finds McGowan. McGowan steps to his right, goes past Widdop. Who goes there to Halifax. Concede the penalty for a high shot. For a glancing eye tackle and I think there's discussion whether to take the two here. Now we've seen in Derby Day has gone by, Bradford's tactic of taking two have backfired on him. Let's hope it happens again if they do. They do take that tactic. Meanwhile, it's McGowan who's getting treatment from the physio. He's given the okay. But no, Bradford are going to take the tap. Here with Suter. And the Bulls make their way into the Panthers 20. Good defence there by Ollie Davies. Quick play of the ball. Here's Davy, John Davies for Bradford. On to McGowan. McGowan draws the ball, so let's take his tackle just outside the 10. Slow play of the ball. He felt the effects of that tackle. Here's Apo, short ball. Great defence there from Inman. He's tackled his blood to water his first half. Suter, Smith, short ball to Butler, and Butler still rigging on his way. Still, it's Halifax defence holding strong for, for the time being. Here's Gill from the short ball, but good defence there. On that right edge. McComb, G, and Dufre all involved. Last tackle here for Bradford. 
Goes to Davies, Davies covers it through, nice little kick. It's going to go back, it's going to be a 20 metre tap and a seven tackle set for the Panthers. A salt and stall waste no time. Bumps off the tackle of Sutton, finds his tackle on the 30. Inman finds McComb, good footwork at the line. He's backing up towards halfway, Zach McComb, good yards. Inman, short ball to Lannan, and Lannan will just take it straight up, taking on Apple and Suter with Smith down low. Inman jumps half and dummy half. Here's with Bernal, with Bernal, takes his tackle on the 30. Inman finds it's Jufre, Jufre. Short to Holly Davies, Holly Davies will get put down 25 metres out from the Bradford line. Inman goes blind to Widdick, Widdick brings on Kavanagh on the angle, goes towards centre field, offloads to Davies, Davies throws a dummy, he's going through the gap, Holly Davies, but just put down Shaw on the 15 metres, last sack here for Fax. Inman finds Jufre. Short ball to G and G gets the ball back out. He's still the last tackle. Widdip chips it over across. And the man takes it in the, in the field of play. And forcing the first goal line dropout of the evening. Pinpoint kick across from Gaz Widdip. And again, the natives are happy, but it's the right decision. He jumped from the field of play. Did Jaden Myers. And we're just over two minutes to go till half time. Ifax force a goal line, line dropout. Which Lily will take. Collected by Jufre, hands on to Tangata. And Tangata winds up towards centre field. Met by three Bulls defenders who put him down 25 metres out from the line. Inman finds Ollie Davies who takes Fax into the Bradford 20 Inman waits a dummy half shakes left and goes right Jufre on that right hand side great tackle I think it was Butler who, who did that wins a ruck does Jufre Inman here's McComb centre field trying to wriggle out the tackle but there's still tackles here for Halifax options left and right Inman goes left finds Widdip that's first time ball to Kavanagh onto Wood Bernal, puts on the brakes. We'll just take his tackle inside Bradford's 10. Last tackle here for Fax. Eden waits a dummy half onto Kavanagh. Runs across the line, finds Widdip. Widdip dinks it towards the corner, looking for Salton Stall. Well taken on that. Edge there by the Bradford winger, Carr, who, who walks the ball out. And there'll be another six tackles here for Halifax. They'll get to play the ball. 10 metres out, centre field. Ninety seconds to go in this first half. Halifax with a great chance to strike back and take the lead just before the, the half time move to Lannan. Sets the play up. Inman finds Widdup, short ball to Tangata. Tangata, great shot there by the Bradford defence. And it's six again. And Halifax have six more tackles on the Bradford line. Here's Jufre, finds Widdup, Widdup. Don't miss the cabinet, Widdup. Grubbers it towards the end goal, and that's the wrong option there. We had tackles to go, and they've just handed the, the ball on the plate to the Bradford, the Bradford Bulls. And with 20 minutes to go, 20 seconds to go till half time. They'll just eat this time out and take a 12 points to 10 lead into the sheds. Davies, good shot in there from Kavanagh. He's had a great first half, Ben Kavanagh. And Suto just take the ball to finish the half. And Derby Day goes to the usual script. Really, really close first half. A back and forth affair. Evenly poised for the second half. Jaden Myers 
going over for the Bulls after five minutes. Then Matty G struck back for Fax. With a well taken try on the right flank. Then Woodburn all. Increased the lead for Fax. On the 25 minute mark and then the mid suitor went over for the Bradford Bulls 10 minutes from the half time Uta to set up an intriguing second half here at Odsall the half time score Bradford Bulls 12 Halifax Panthers 10 welcome back to the second half of this vital round 2 Betfred Championship clash between the Bradford Bulls and Halifax Panthers here at the Odsall Stadium where after a bruising first half He's very evenly poised with the Bulls holding a very slender lead, 12 points to 10 at half time. Halifax. Halifax tries coming from Matty G and Woodburn All. With the only difference in the score coming from Louis Dufres, pulled conversion at wide on the touchline. But most of the first half. Liam Finn will be pleased with what he's seen from his troops. Uh, referee Marcus Griffiths makes his way back onto the field, getting the traditional well welcome <laughs> from this Odsall crowd, who haven't who haven't been his best fan, let's say, in the first 40 minutes. Well, massive, massive 40 minutes coming up. With Halifax having the opportunity to go two from two in the league. There'll be Bradford to kick off through Lilly, who lost it centre field. It takes a wicked bounce, but Bradford knock it on through Apple and Halifax will eventually get his hands on it. Here's Lannan. Made by three Bradford defenders, four Bradford defenders who still struggle to put him down. Slow play the ball. Inman, where's the blind side? Here's Kavanagh. Got a great first half. Goes past the 20 for the Panthers. Good shot there from the Bradford defence. Here's Tangata, short ball to Ollie Davies, and Davies finds a 40 metre line. Inman kicks from dummy half, there's loads of space there, will it just sit down as McGowan struggles to get to grips with it, but eventually he does. But it's a great chase from the IFAS defensive line, led by Tangata and Widdop. Roared on by the Halifax support on that far corner. We're up again involved in the tackle. Here's Apo. Here's Apo this time, sorry my mistake. Winds up and finds halfway for the Bradford Bulls. Clears the rook as well, as Suter don't need a second invitation. Yes, the offload there. And Bradford rampaging towards Life Fast 20. Up offloads here for fun. Davies. Still throwing it around. Eventually Ifax get to grips with him and they win the penalty to the Bradford Bulls. Well that's one way to get back in the good books. Marcus Griffith's seen a high tackle somewhere in that. Now, will Bradford go for two here? There's certainly a conversation being had. But instead, Lily will kick the ball to touch. And Bradford will start to set off 15 metres from their own line. Rundle taps, hands on to Davies. Further into Smith, who turns in the tackle. Three fast men, Lannan. Ollie Davies and Inman struggle to put him down. As Bradford sack it left and it goes right, but it's a penalty for offside. As Griffiths trying to 
has evened up this penalty count and more. And this time Bradford will go for two. Well, I don't think the Panthers and Liam Finn will mind that, to be honest. Only puts the gap out to four points. And like I said in the first half, in times gone by, Bradford's insistence on taking shots at goal for penalties has come back to bite them and let's hope that's the same again tonight. But it's an old adage in rugby league where if you get off of the points, you take them. And this is as simple as they come. As Lily strikes the ball through the post. He's three from three this evening. And they slightly extend the lead to 14 points to 10. As we're hearing that Kieran Hudson failed his HIA in the first half. And that's a big miss in the second half of Fax. Because he had a huge impact in that first half. In both attack and defence. So Halifax. We'll have one less sub for the rest of this game as Widdop gets the ball out, collected by Myers and on to Apo, who bounces off the Panthers' defence, but they go back for more. Well dealt with there by McComb. And the Rundle takes it up. For the balls, Suter. Good defensive work there, but he sets out the tackle, he's still going. That's great yards there from Max Wood. Suter works the blind side, short ball. But the fast defence was wise to it. As they pull the Bradford man down just short of the halfway. Here's Smith, out of the back to Davies. Brings on the second row of Fulton on the angle. Last tackle here for Bradford. Here's Lilly. Has time to place his kick. The salt and stall takes well, but it's a great chase there from the Bradford Bulls. Gill leading the way. Salt and stall up with the treatment he had then as Eden takes the ball up. Trying to steal as many yards as he can to get out of his own 20. Jufre goes blind. Salt and stall again, brushes off one tackle. Yes, the offload to Jufre and faxes it away. Jufre! He's got salt and stall support. McCall's going to go for the corner. He's going to go back there. Oh! Great tackle back there, but Halifax have a chance here. Jufre goes from dummy half. Long ball out, Halifax have been on the overlap of the use it, but no, they step inside. Oh, he just loses his footing at the crucial time. Fax still five metres short of the Bradford line. Jufre goes right to Lannan, steps in his tracks. Goes to that left hand side. He goes back again, he's running backwards and forwards, Lannan. He's creeping towards that line. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman finds Widdop. Widdop onto Jufre. Jufre. One ball out. Here's Salt and Stall. Pass it over his head. Halifax trying to keep the ball alive here. McComb comes back on the inside. He's in about two minds here. McComb finds Widdop. Widdop dribbles the ball through. And he's collected on that right hand side. And Bradford survive and win yet another penalty. Well. Marcus Griffiths spent the whole first half being booed by this Bradford crowd and he's come out of the second half and he's his best mate now. Giving penalties to Bradford for fun right now. And that was a relieving penalty as Lily with a great touch finder takes the balls to halfway. A run little tap. And just go himself against his former teammates Tangatar and Kavanagh. Slow play the ball, Suter. Fires it wide to Wapo. Thought about the pass, but just takes it in. Well, marshalled there by Davies and Lannan. The ball's less than 30 out from the fast line. As Wood takes it up again. Max Wood, that is. Suter waits at dummy half. They're stacking it left here. The balls, Lily takes some fast defence on, but Jufre does well. Still tackles here for Bradford. 
The Rams are starting to play the ball down. Suter hands on to Smith, throw the dummy. Goes past Sacco Davis and offload in and Bradford are in. And that is soft. That is too soft defence for the Panthers. And the Bradford Bulls strike first in this second half. It was Dan Smith who brought through the line and handed it on. On to Max Wood. Who's had a great game off the bench so far for the Bulls. And less than 10 minutes gone in the second half, Bradford extend the lead even more. 18 points to 10 with a kick to come. And with a try underneath the post, you'd think Lily would ban this conversion over. And the momentum has totally shifted in this second half. Now, can Halifax respond in the same way as in the first half after an early Bradford score? As Jordan Lilly converts the try. He's 100% with the boot so far tonight. Four from four. As Bradford take a 20 points to 10 lead. With it goes deep and right with a kick. Collected by Carr, who takes his tackle just past the 10 meter line from Tangata. Here's Gill, always a dangerous runner, but the Panthers' defence do well on him this time. Inman and Kavanagh, it was both of those. Done really well in defence so far this game. As Bradford make their way up towards the 30. Despite the attention of Smith and Lannan. They were at the blind side. Lily running at the line. He's still going. It's McGowan, sorry, my mistake. As Bradford charged into the Panthers half. Quick play of the ball. They were at the blind side once more. They step inside. Off floor's coming here as Suter tries to poke his nose through. Desperate Halifax defence. Big moments here for this Panthers defence. The ball goes left. Lily dinks it over. Claimed by Salt and Stall, and Halifax to survive just about. Jufre hands on. And Woodburn Hall will take his tackle. And maybe in totally different complexity, second half, if. McComb would have made something from that break, as he is, McComb's deep in his own territory here, but making good yards. Inman waits at dummy half, finds Lannan, and Lannan. Still making yards, past the 40. Last tackle here for Fax. Slow play the ball, Inman finds Jufre, and Jufre puts it high, no real pressure. On this winger car who takes it easily enough. But it's a flat defensive line that meets him. 25 metres out from his own line. Here's Gill. Running centre field. Put down there by Lannan. Suit away to dummy half. Goes right. Good defence once more there. By the Panthers. Davies runs across the line, shows and goes. Good tackle there by Tangata to me because Apo was on his shoulder. <laughs> Lily. Good game management by Lily. Just scribbles the kick towards the, towards the corner. Would burn all trying to fight his way out. All the danger area does well. Jufre finds Salt and Stall. There's a wall of white in front of him. 
as Bradford just playing the percentages right now. They don't need to force anything. As Inman just lost his bearings a little bit there, passed it to the man that was standing. I think it was Leroy about brand new onto the field. Here's McComb. And there's an error there. And Bradford gobble up possession. Here's Wood. Still going despite the attention of three fast defenders. As Bradford 15 metres out from the fax line. If it's going next, it could be critical here. Four fax men struggle to put the Bradford man down. Slow play the ball. And it's a six again for Bradford. Lily finds Apo. Napo put down less than five out from the line. Suter scheming from Dummy out, finds Davies. Short ball as Fulton. Great tackle down low by the fast man there. I think it was Widdop. Suits for Dummy half. Long ball out to Cat to Apo. And Apo knocks on. And Ifax survive. This game just delicately poised. 20 points to 10 to the Bulls at the moment. And you feel that Halifax just have to score next if we've got any chance of getting back into this game. And Fax will get a scrum 10 metres out from their own line. Inman finds McCone, Lily slits, but the Bradford defender got to him before he could break. As Fax carry on. Through Eden. Here's Oli Davies. Strapping, trying to find Yard. Sorry, Lion Lannan, it was. Slow play of the ball. Inman goes blind to Jufre. Brings on Oli Davies this time, but loses his footing. And he'll get stopped on the 40. Inman. Finds Connor Davies. Widdop to Kavanagh. Kavanagh turns in the tackle, but still makes yards. But the Bradford. Bulls men counter defend him and push him back, but he's still a sl really slow rook here. Which Kavanagh isn't liking his handbags here. Referee still not making decisions, still saying play on as Widdop puts a spiral bomb high in the sky. It's moving here and everywhere. He didn't like that at all, it's bounced. It's not cleaned and Ifax shoots up to try and put pressure on him. Great shot there. And it, was that the momentum shift that Halifax were wanting? McGowan tries to break from deep. Salt and Stall puts him down. Had to be. We all know the pace of Aidan McGowan. The Bulls use the blind side. Through a rundle, I think it is. There's a lot of old man in here. Both Arundel and Jufre using their experience here. Here's Smith. Takes it to centre field, wrapped up by three high fast defenders. In the shape of Lannan, Inman, and Connor Davies. The balls come left. Lily, short ball to Butler, and Butler bursts out a tackle, but Inman again just holding on for dear life. Quick play of the ball, last tackle here is Lily. Grubbles it through, it hits Jufre on the back. And Jufre comes up with the ball. A bit of a lucky break there for Fax. As Saltonstall takes the ball up, but put down by Butler. Jufre hands it on. Strong running there. From G. Here's Oli Davies. Good run there, but well, folded there. By Apple, I think it was. Here's Connor Davies. Good yards there from Davies. Definitely holds onto the ball this time. Last tackle here for Fax. Again, such a slow play of the ball. The referee's just 
decided not to punish any slow play balls in second half. Here's Jufre, short ball to Davies. Needs to get the ball out, last tackle. It goes back to Widdop and Widdop. Broken line in front of him. Kicks across field and chases his own kick. Taken by Myers, but Widdop does well to chase and put him down. McGowan goes from dummy half. Spies a broken line, but the fast defenders put him down. Leroy it was. Here's Gale. So my mistake. Lily takes on the line, bounce off a challenger Davies, but G gets onto him. Just shy of halfway the balls. Here's Smith, brings on Doro. Here's Chandra Davies, steals a couple of yards there, does Doro. And it's another penalty for Bradford. Well, they certainly won't be booing the referee off at full time, the Bradford fans. I think every single penalty this second half has gone the way of the Bulls. Which Lily kicks two touch and they'll start to set 20 metres out from the fax line through Kieran Gill onto Lily onto one of the substitutes Harvey Wilson you can tell because his shirt is absolutely daz white clean here's Doro put down a two man tackle there by Davies and Kavanagh the Bulls lose the way a little bit there but not the Halifax, fan, the Halifax men don't want to put him down. Number 31, Tyre or not. Davies finds Smith. Short ball at the line. To Wilson, and Wilson gets put down just shy of the line. Ott waits. On to Davies. And then Davies, just not knowing what to do with Halifax defence, don't want to tackle him, they're not shooting out. It goes to Fulton, and Fulton goes towards in goal. And it goes just out, Halif Halifax man, I think it was McComb out there. Oh, Jack Smith there. The youngster showing all the composure to let the ball go out dead. And takes the, the tap quick as Halifax gets a seven tackle set. Him and brings on Eden. Connor Davis, sorry, it was. There's Salt and Stall, takes Halifax past halfway. As Lannan makes way for Tangatar, as Leroy with a great run downfield. Thought about the offload, but the Bradford Bulls defence came in to wrap him up. And again, a slow play of the ball, but the referee not doing anything about it. Here's Jufre, short ball to Davies. Davies. Great last ditch defence there by Butler. Inman goes centre field. Here's Connor Davies. Footwork at the line, but put down there by Bradford defence. Inman waits a dummy half. Finds Jufre. Jufre takes it to the line. Throws a dummy Jufre. He's still going. He tries to get the offload out, and Bradford dive on the ball. And has referee given it as a Bradford knock on here? I'm not too sure. No, it's ruled there were two knock-ons. But again, this Marcus Griffiths has seen a completely different game in the second half. The penalties that were given in the first half were, or six agains, were for messing around to play the ball, and I don't think he's given one this second half. So as it is, Bradford will get the scrum 10 metres from their own line. As Myers takes the ball up. And gets put down by Ollie Davies. And Inman. Who must be topping the tackle count for the Panthers. He's been everywhere as Inman in defence. This time it's Tangatara and McCorm making a tackle on the Bradford man. Here's Smith. Takes the ball up and support runners there, but just takes the, the tackle himself. Four high fast men completing it. 
Bradford using the blind side on that right hand side. McGowan shoots through the gap. Aidan McGowan tries to step with Burn Hall. Both of them fell at the same time. But luckily, McGowan couldn't get up in time as Bradford looked to attack on this left hand side. Lily covers it through, looking for the chase of Gill. Salton Star runs towards the in goal and dives back in field. As Jordan Lilly is kicking the Panthers in submission right now. Chu Frey finds Ollie Davies. Good shot on him by his ex-teammate Doro. Good run there by the Fats fan. I think it's McComb who's wrestling for for territory here. Here's Laroya. Laroya turns the tackle but gets put down. Last tackle here for Fax and they've not got out of their own 40. Here's Winnip. Charged down by Doro and Doro tries to brush off the fullback and this is a great opportunity for Bradford to strike. Great pressure there by Doro. Stole the ball off Winnip from the charge down. And yet again, Bradford putting pressure on this IFAX line. 15 minutes to go. He's running on that right hand side. And it's a six again to Bradford, yet again. Here's Wilson. Wilson takes the ball less than five out from the IFAX line. They're trying to eke out all the time here. Here's Davies. John Davies for Bradford, can he stretch over the line? He's desperately fast defence. Who's stopping just short? The pressure mounting here. Loose pass from dummy half, well dealt with there by the fast defence. Still tackles here in the bag for Bradford. Oh, find it to Smith, onto Lily. Lily, covers it through, looking for the chase of Galen. What Salt and Stall collects. He'll try to get out, but he has to concede the dropout. And Jordan Lilly's kicking game is proving vital here for Bradford. <laughs> it's all come from the pressure that Aribi Doro put on Gareth Winnip's kick. And Ifast goes short from the dropout, looking for him, it's too long. That was neither here nor there from the dropout, and that's poor. As Bradford. 10 metres out from the fast line, looking for this game clinching score. 14 minutes to go, 20 points to 10. Oh, from dummy half, finds Davies, short ball to a Butler, great tackle down low. And he's giving a forward pass to the referee. Big let off there for Halifax. And it sent Odds a little bit flat as that mistake there. Can Halifax find a way back into this game? They'll, they'll start from this scrum, 10 metres out from their own line. Just need just one little bit of inspiration. One little X-Factor play. If you can strike from this set, it'll help out massively. Here's Eden, who can strike from deep, but this Bradford defence has marshaled him well all night. Here's Oi Davies. Well put down there by the Bradford defence. They go left, here's Lannan. They're even stopping Lannan getting yards after contact. Eventually they put him down on the 30. As Griffiths pointing but not really doing anything. Connor Davies onto Widdup. Might as well burn all, step of the line with it. Oh, Woodburn all nearly getting through. Vital tackle there from Chester Butler. Here's Tangata with a head of steam, but well marshalled there by Doro. Last tackle here for Fax. 10 metres into this Bradford half. Inman comes blind to Jufre and Jufre pulls it high towards centre field, looking for the chase of Widdup. Well claimed there by John Davis. But that's a better set from Halifax. 
can they force the mistake from this Bradford side? McGowan gets put down, but instead they conceded yet another penalty. And it's getting a little bit laughable, is this? The way the penalty count has totally shifted after half time. I think we might have had one penalty this second half and I think Bradford have had six. Obviously getting booed off at half time has had a bit of a big effect on Marcus Griffiths. And with those statistics, it's very hard to get any foothold in the game. Facts obviously showing they're in discipline, but find hard to believe that Bradford Bulls have been squeaky clean. Lily boosts the ball out and Bradford will start the set eventually when the ball gets to Kieran Gill. Five metres shy of halfway, Gill taps hands on to Butler. Well met by, by Davies. Both Davies, Ollie and Connor, helped out by Tangatar. Takes Bradford into the Halifax half. Lily. Fees Wilson with good defence there from three fast defenders in the shape of Connor Davies, Tangatar and Inman. Quick play the ball though, here's Lily. Brings on Gill on the angle. Well met there by Ollie Davies, helped out by McComb. Bradford 25 metres out from the fax line. With Gill picking up an injury in that tackle. And Smith drives the ball in, great yards there. They're struggling to get all of him there. Less than 10 out of the Bradford Bulls. Oh, finds Davies, throws a dummy. Well marshalled there by the fast defence. Last tackle here for Bradford. Lily, cross field kick. They let them have it and Dufre knocks on. One thing that has shot up in this second half is the Halifax error count and that is unforgivable. Jufre looking for the interception that did come his way but he knocked on and he gives Bradford six more tackles on this Halifax line and we've yet to see Joe Keyes in the second half on the bench all the Panthers and he's still been on there all game as Kieran Gill gets helped off the field by the Bradford medical team hopefully it's not a serious one Just over 10 minutes to go here. Bradford 20, Halifax 10. As Bradford gone left from the scrum, McGowan steps off. He's left, but well dealt with by the Halifax defence. In the shape of McComb. Oh, finds it to Lily. Finds Wood. Breaks out of the tackle, gets the offload in. Here's up. Great shot there. From Connor Davies. Here's John Davies for Radford. Out of the back. And Bradford get yet another penalty here. I think the penalty count in this second half is 6-0 to Bradford. 7-0 maybe. The pendulum is massively swung. And with no surprise, with nine and a half minutes on left to go on the clock, Jordan Lilly signals to go for two. To put Bradford to potentially put Bradford 12 points up with less than 10 to go as Liam Finn and Craig Huber make their way down the stand they've seen enough from their lofty van vantage point they're going down to pitch level to try and offer some sort of encouragement and guidance from ground level
as Lily taking all the time is allowed with this penalty shot. He's kicked well all evening as John and Lily. And he's kicked well again there. He's five from five. And Bradford at 22 points to 10 up with eight minutes to go. And IFAS have got to find something special very soon in order to avoid an Aberdeen defeat. With it, goes short from, from the kickoff. He goes past the 10. The ball goes back towards John Davies. And Bradford end up with possession. And John Davies had an outstanding game for Bradford, filling in at half back. Just shows what a class player he is. As Arundel plays the ball, hands on to Doro. And Doro tries to go wide, but well dealt with by the fast defenders on that right hand side. I thought the referee was going to give another penalty again there, but decided not to, which is a rare occurrence in the second half. Here's Davies. Falls back to Lily. McComb shoots out he comes back out. Here's Butler. Butler. Jufre eventually gets to him. Last tackle here for Bradford. Hart oh, finds Lily and Lily grows it through at centre field, uses the referee as a guide. Woodburn all collects, does well, good positioning. He gets put down, 10 for his own line. Offloading the tackle and he's knocked on. And I think that is the game right there, unfortunately. As Ifax trying to force, trying to force the play that they're having to do. But a knock on happens and it's just not happened after half time for Ifax for various reasons. And we're just over five minutes, there's plenty of Bradford fans in this stand that have seen enough as well. Maybe they're trying to beat the traffic home, I'm not too sure, but they've seen enough. As Lily runs across the line, throws a dummy bands onto Butler. Here's Ott. Finds Wood, who's had a great impact off the bench. Ott waits at dummy half. He finds Lily, brings on Doro on the angle, Doro charging. Onto the ball. That Halifax defence determined not to let another Bradford try over. Here's Ott. Goes from dummy half. Goes himself or just gets tackled just short of the line. Bradford don't need to force anything right now. John Davies waits a dummy half. Throws a dummy. Spins on a six pin Gets put down by Ollie Davies. Five metres shy of the line. Ott goes to Lily. Looks for the drop goal. Jordan Lily to put the icing on the kick. Which he does. And we're just under five minutes to go. Jordan Lilly, not for the first time, kicks a drop goal in a Good Friday victory for Bradford over Halifax. 23 points to 10. There's no way back and forth to Halifax. And I thought so fall to defeat. On this Good Friday Derby Day, Widdup goes short from the kickoff, and he'll, yet again it'll fall into the hands of a Bradford Bull man. Unfortunately, second half they've had the luck of the bounce and the referee's decision to give them the platform. As Hart jumps out from dummy half, the two hookers for Bradford have been outstanding. Suter and Hart had great impact from dummy half. Lily with a ball, that looks a bit forward, but it matters not. 
Here's Davies. Here's Davies. Yes, half break, John Davies. Heads it out, and Bradford are going to score a try. And if John and Lily's drop goal was the icing on the cake, and that Bradford Bulls try is the cherry on top. And things just going bad for, from bad to worse for Halifax here. This final scoreline, not a fair reflection of the game. As John Davies, man of the match in my eyes, made the half break and handed it on to Fulton. Who scores for the Bradford Bulls? As the Bradford fans on that far side taking revelry over beating Halifax. And it's a long time between drinks here. We will get a chance to get our revenge until the 22nd of September. Six long months until we get the chance to get revenge. But tonight, this Good Friday belongs to the Bulls and John and Lily, who bangs over his sixth goal of the evening. He's been brilliant with the boot as John and Lily. As Bradford Bulls stretch out to a 29 points to 10 lead. As Gareth Willock don't go for a short kick off this time, he goes deep. The game's already gone. And we're just over two minutes to go. Liam Finn will just want to see something to take into next week's game against Batley, which becomes ever more important after this result. Here's Davies. Bradford go right. Fulton gets put down by Kavanagh. Lily runs across field. Hands the ball on. Certainly no lack of effort from Halifax, but just poor discipline with the ball and for conceding penalties. Has just done it for him. As Lily rubs salt into the wound with a nonchalant grubby kick into touch. As Mitch Suter gets the the home sponsors man of the match. He has had a fantastic game. Him, Lily, and John Davies for mine. Which will be a, this will be a tough one for the Halifax players and Liam Finn to take his first derby game as head coach of his hometown team. <laughs> and, as, and for comedy effects, Marcus Griffiths awards the first penalty of the second half. Telefast Panthers with 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh, I said before, it's, it's laughable. <laughs> as Widow pans on to Tangatar as the clock ticks down to zero, three seconds left. <laughs> the Hooter goes and play stops. And Ifax takes defeat. On Good Friday, as the Bradford Bulls crucified their hopes of a Derby Day win. 12 10 at our time, the game in the balance. But then Marcus Griffiths found his refer 
found his whistle for the Bradford Bulls in the second half who won the second half by 17 points Halifax scored two tries Matty G and Woodburn all in the first half with Dufresne with one conversion but Bradford Bulls with four tries two in each half and with the ball with the ball, boot of Jordan Lilly who kicked six goals in total and a drop goal to give the Bradford Bulls a David A win, 29 points to 10.